Greetings and welcome to STEAM with the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. My name is Raynetta and I'm here at Watkins Park with some friends to explore the science, technology, engineering, arts, and math associated with kite flying. We're going to use our STEAM skills to create and decorate our very own kites in honor of the upcoming 2021 National Cherry Blossom Festival Kite Fly. To participate at home, you can pick up a kit from one of our grab and go sites from March 23rd to March 26th while supplies last. Let's get started. Kites can be used as a hobby, sport, art, science project, or a social event, and sometimes all at the same time. According to the American Kite Flyers Association, a kite is an object that uses the force of wind to fly and its flight is controlled by a flying line or lines. In order to build a really successful kite, we will need to focus on engineering a structure that is both strong enough and light enough to fly in a variety of wind conditions. Included in our kit, we have a kite template, string, and two cardboard slat reinforcers. From your home, you will need scissors, scotch tape and duct tape for extra support, an item to punch holes like a pencil, hole puncher, screwdriver, a ruler for measuring, and optional items for decoration such as ribbons, streamers, crayons, and markers. First, we will start by reinforcing the bridle points with tape. It's best to do this before you cut your kite out. Take a piece of tape measuring about two and a half inches and place it diagonally in the center where it says tape. Placing a double layer helps to reinforce the structure and prevent ripping when we attach the bridle later. For even more strength, it is suggested to take a piece of duct tape about half an inch thick and place it evenly in the center point of the tape crossing. Step two would be cutting out the kite. Start by following the lines at the top and bottom. Try to be as accurate as possible when following the lines. At this point, we are left with a hollowed kite that has two layers. The next cuts will only be on the top layer. Open the kite and follow the lines to cut the gray area. Once the two gray triangles are removed, you take your scissors and cut directly in the middle through the tape. Remember, only on the top layer. Once everything is cut out, the next step is inserting the cardboard struts. Open the sleeves and insert the cardboard on both sides all the way to the end. The next step is cutting out the bridle holes. Use a hole puncher or a pencil to create a hole about a half inch away from the edge of the kite on each side. After that, we will be measuring and installing the bridle. For the bridle, we will need to measure and cut about six to eight feet of line. Attach each end of the bridle line to each hole with a double knot. Next, we will tie a toe loop at the end of the bridle by joining both bridle points together and pulling out the line to find the center. Once you find the center, tie another knot to make about a one inch loop. Then we are going to attach the tow loop to the kite flying line by knotting them together twice. Last is decoration. If you'd like to add tails to your kite, take two equal length streamers and attach them symmetrically to the inside of your kite. Make sure they are attached to the bottom and not the top. You can also draw on decorations with markers or crayons. Successful kite flight depends upon establishing and maintaining a balance between the upward force of lift, the downward force of gravity, and the backwards force of drag. A kite will fly if it finds enough wind to lift it and keep it in the sky. Now you're ready for the Blossom Kite Fly. On March 27th and 28th, take to the skies and fly kites in your own backyard or neighborhood park. Don't forget to share your experience on social media using the hashtags Blossom Kite Fly, Step Into Spring, 
and PG Parks STEAM. Safely engage with your environment and show us how you soar. For more information on park sites and locations to fly your kite, visit pgparks.com or nationalcherryblossomfestival.org. Thanks for visiting with us today. We hope you have fun. Until next time, stay healthy, be safe, and keep steaming on. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to tune in again and visit the online resource center at pgparks.com, your one-stop shop for fun and fitness at home. This is the place to live more, play more, indoors.